The RS-28 Sarmat, known in NATO terminology as Satan II, is one of the most formidable intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs ever developed, representing the peak of Russian strategic deterrence capabilities. Designed by the Makiev Rocket Design Bureau and produced by the Krasmish plant, this missile replaces the aging R-36M 2 inches Vovoda, which NATO had also named Satan. The Sarmat stands as a symbol of Russia's continued commitment to maintaining a powerful and modern nuclear triad in the face of evolving global threats. At its core, the RS-28 Sarmat is designed to ensure Russia's second strike capability. Even if an enemy launches a first strike attempt to neutralize Russian ICBMs, the Sarmat is intended to survive, launch, and deliver a devastating counterattack. This missile carries a heavy payload and uses advanced countermeasure systems that can bypass modern missile defenses. Weighing over 200 tons and measuring about 35 meters in length, the Sarmat has an estimated range of over 18,000 kilometers, which allows it to strike any point on the globe, including the United States, from deep inside Russian territory. One of the defining characteristics of the RS-28 is its multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV, capability. It can carry 10 to 15 nuclear warheads, each with its own target, or a mix of warheads and hypersonic glide vehicles like the Avangard, making it unpredictable and nearly impossible to intercept. Each warhead can be directed at different targets, significantly increasing the destructive power of a single missile. This not only makes missile defense systems like the U.S. Ground-based Midcourse Defense GMD, far less effective, but it also overwhelms radar tracking and interception capabilities. Another important feature of the Sarmat is its ability to use unconventional flight paths. Unlike traditional ICBMs that follow a parabolic trajectory over the North Pole, the Sarmat can launch over the South Pole or along other unexpected routes, reducing the likelihood of early detection and interception. This flexibility allows it to avoid anti-ballistic missile systems, radar networks, and geographical choke points, granting it an edge in penetrating even the most sophisticated missile shields. In terms of survivability, the Sarmat is launched from hardened underground silos and uses a shorter boost phase compared to earlier missiles, making it harder to detect and destroy before it leaves the atmosphere. Its high-thrust solid fuel boosters accelerate it quickly into space, reducing the vulnerability window during the launch phase. Once airborne, its decoys, countermeasures, and ability to deploy multiple MIRVs make it an elusive and deadly projectile. Sarmat's psychological and strategic impact on global military balance cannot be overstated. It plays a central role in Russia's nuclear doctrine, especially the part that emphasizes deterrence through credible and overwhelming retaliation. In recent years, as geopolitical tensions have increased and new missile defense systems have been developed in the West, Russia has prioritized modernizing its strategic forces. The Sarmat is the embodiment of this effort, signaling that Russia possesses the technology to maintain nuclear parity or even superiority. Beyond military capability, the missile carries symbolic weight. It projects power, technological prowess, and national pride. President Vladimir Putin has publicly highlighted the RS-28 in speeches as proof of Russia's ability to counter any threat and maintain strategic independence. This has stirred concern and prompted strategic recalibration among NATO and other global powers. Though the Sarmat has yet to be fully deployed in large numbers, its successful tests and production readiness mark a new era in strategic weaponry. It represents the culmination of decades of research, development, and adaptation in missile technology. More than just a weapon, it is a geopolitical tool, designed to reinforce deterrence and remind the world of the balance of power established through mutual assured destruction. Critics of such weapons argue that their existence escalates the arms race and increases the risk of global annihilation. However, proponents view the RS-28 as a necessary response to growing threats and as an insurance policy against any aggression. Its effectiveness lies not in its use, but in its presence, a weapon so powerful that no rational actor would provoke its deployment. The RS-28 Sarmat is more than just the next-generation ICBM, it is the pinnacle of nuclear missile development, designed to guarantee Russia's place as a major nuclear power. With unmatched payload capacity, advanced guidance, and multiple targeting capabilities, it embodies the evolution of strategic deterrence in the 21st century. As long as such weapons exist, peace will continue to rest on a knife's edge, held in place by the terrifying balance of mutual destruction.